Hello YouTube fam, I want to say something to a lot of you all real quick. I had some issues with some scalpers lately during the holiday season and the shit made me mad as hell because people were just having carts and just throwing shit in. And I'm looking like, damn, look at all them Power Rangers and all those Fortnite figures and G.I. Joes and He-Man. What the hell is going on? And I'm like, wait. I said, damn. I said, self. Self, self. I said, are these Christmas shoppers? Because if these are Christmas shoppers, I can't say shit about that. Because, you know, when it's time to buy Christmas gifts for, like, your kids, your grandkids, your, your nephews, and stuff like that, you buy like that. But I can't tell if this was what they were doing or were they scalpers, fam, because I'm like, damn, you done bought all of them. I didn't get a chance to get one. So, you know, I'm talking to the store manager about this, and I was like, damn, you know, this is not fair. And he said, what's not fair? He said, the store job is to sell product and to make money from that product, to create a bottom line for this company and to pay the employees. I said, bro, I get all that. I said, I understand, fam. I get it. But I said, man, just when you people tell you where stuff is at a location, and I said, you head Johnny on the spot to that location and you get beat damn near about, what, 15, 20 minutes with a person that come in and grab it all. One day, like I said before, I was there and somebody, I had seen somebody just put it all in their damn cart and run up to the front. I seen another stud at one point in time run with like the toys in his hand all the way up to the front. Security was running at them. They thought he was going to run out the store. He ran to the self-checkout and started scanning the stuff. Everybody was like, what the hell? Like, they were trying to figure out what is this that he got? How much is this shit worth? If he's doing all this, this shit got to be worth something. And guess what? With him doing all that, it had other people thinking. It had the associates thinking who didn't think about that. There's money in this shit. A lot of times, the associates buy this stuff. And, you know, I got a lot of friends who I know that work at retail locations and they're collectors and they ban the shit before it even hit the flow. You know, not before it hits, you know, like shelf time, you know, when it supposed to hit on the shelf. But they're buying it once it comes out. You can't tell somebody they can't buy some. Uh-uh, you cannot. Long as you spending money on this stuff, they can't tell you nothing. The store can't tell you a damn thing if you're an employee or not. Fam, I've been trying to do what I do, but I'm doing it a lot better right now. You know, I'm taking my time with it because, you know, every time that I had like a um, hit, you know, I had my fillers out with people and they were telling me where stuff was at. And me and my family would take a little run over there to check it out. Sometimes we find stuff and sometimes we don't. But the thing is, I understand a lot of y'all say you could order it online. I order a lot online, but I still go out out and like to hunt every now and then. I like to look. I like to see what people got out there. Because you may miss some. It may be that one piece. It may not be two or three. It could just be one. One that you've been really looking for. And this is why I hunt. Fam, you know, and sometimes the scalpers take that away from you. They take it away because they're trying to make a profit. For them, most of them, it's their everyday nine to five job. They go out, buy product. You know, I run into a lot of them when I was buying Jordans. And they be right there, and I'm buying Air Force Ones. If I'm at Burlington or at uh, Champs, Foot Locker, they're already there. Buying just damn near five and six, 12, as many as they can. They got their mama. They got their brothers. They got their sisters. They got every damn body there with money because you can buy two pair a person. Bam, they had people there buying up the damn shoes. They can't do anything if you follow the rules. And like they said, like at certain times, even online, even on Hasbro Post, they say two per person. Fam, you can buy as many as you want. Long as you're doing it with different addresses and cards, hell, what, what could they say? Fam, two per person. Yo, I can have my son buy two, my other son buy two, my wife buy two. Fam, it's real out here. And this is what I'm telling you. There's a way around everything. Scalpers done found a way around everything. And they're out here profiting. Because they sell a lot of this shit on eBay, whatnot, and Amazon for an arm and a damn leg. 
But around Christmas time, for some reason this year, a lot of them was playing fair. I don't know why. I think they were just trying to get rid of the damn merchandise because I think, in all due respect, they just wanted to make some damn money. You know, I hear so many people talking about, like, the flipping accountant. He buys Lego sets and all clearance type of stuff. Um, electronics, uh, anything he can make money off of. His name, the flipping accountant. And he said, I'm going to hold on to this stuff to Q4 or, you know, such and such. Or until, you know, it basically, uh, they discontinue this. You know, fam, I look at it this way. I ain't got time for all that. A lot of these cats do a lot of this stuff. They had to get on Retro Rick a long time ago because he was selling stuff for more than what it was or whatnot. And people like, damn, you supposed to be the one that's reasonable. But fam, you know what? Everybody out here to make a profit. Everybody out here to make a dollar. Now, I'm not trying to knock the hustle, but I'm just saying, don't hustle me. You get what I mean? Did you get that? I'm not trying to knock your hustle. Just don't hustle me. Now, I understand you paid $25 for this item. Now, you offering, you know, to sell it for 30 to 33 That's good. But anytime you're trying to sell it for 50 to $75, damn dollars, you're doing too damn much. See, greed gets in the way. Sometimes that greed make you not make money. You selling it for $75 and other people selling it for $30. Who you think they're going to buy it from? I'll wait. Shit, I ain't going to buy it for $75. I'll buy it for the $30. This is why I say these damn scalpers lost their mind. You know, they can't limit in the store because you remember a couple of years ago, during the pandemic, they were limited in amount of toys that you could buy. Yeah, because people were buying them up and they were really thinking about it and saying, hey, you know, if people stuck in the house, we need to make sure that they have something that they can play with. As far as the kids. And plus, people had all that disposable income and they were just buying shit. Boy, they were just buying and grows. Seal the games. I don't understand that. But fam... Scalpers can fuck your whole life up. But, you know, it's up to you if you really want to rock with them like that. Because sometimes it's just not worth it, fam. I just tell you to wait and check out some other people. But to later, fam, thanks for watching. Peace out.